Welcome to Face Yoga for Symmetrical Eyes. I want to preface this video by saying asymmetrical eyes are beautiful. We're humans, we're not robots. So the wrinkles and the life we live on our face is beautiful. Face yoga is fun, it feels good, and it makes you look good. But let's always remember we're perfect just the way we are. So just like with our hands, our eyes also have a dominant eye. And there's two ways we're going to find our dominant eye. The first one is by looking in the mirror and noticing whether one eye is wider or more open than the other eye. In this method, it also helps to take a picture as sometimes we can't see so much in the mirror as we can in a photograph. The second way we're going to check our dominant eye is by taking our finger and placing it on a point in the distance and looking at that point. Next, we're gonna close one eye and notice if our finger moves away from that point. If our open eye sees the finger move away from the point, that is our non-dominant eye. Our dominant eye will not let the object move. So now we found our dominant eye. In my case, it's my right eye. It's wider, it's bigger, and it passes the distance test. So after our warm up, we'll start working on our left eye, our non dominant eye. But to warm up, we're going to start with winking back and forth. So, winking with both eyes, we're just winking gently on each side. We're going to warm up the eyes before starting to work on the non dominant eye. So, winking back and forth here a few times, make sure not to carry any tension in the eyebrows or the forehead. We're just warming up the eye muscles here and waking up the eyes. So we're winking back and forth on each side and we're gonna do this for about 30 seconds total. So when you've completed this, go ahead and release. Next, take your index fingers and gently place them on the side of the eyes, trying to keep both eyes symmetrical and lifted even to the same spot. Now from here, we're just going to look left and right. So holding the eyes in a symmetrical position, look left and look right. Again, we're doing this for about 30 seconds here, just warming up the eyes. The fingers are in place to not create any wrinkles on the side of the eyes and also to lift the eyes up to a symmetrical position. So it helps to use a mirror here as you're going through these exercises to make sure you're creating perfect symmetry. Looking left and right, this is going to increase circulation in the eye, it's going to strengthen the eye muscle, and we're really waking up and warming up the eyes here. After you have done about 30 seconds of this, we'll move on to the last warm up exercise, which is opening the eyes wide and releasing. So let's do this for about 30 seconds, trying to open each eye the same amount evenly. So widening the eyes open and releasing them back to the normal vision. We're doing this for about 30 seconds, really just wakening the eyes. Try to look in the mirror and open each eye to the same amount. Focusing on symmetry, focusing on balance, just waking up the eyes here and releasing. Widening the eyes and releasing. We'll go for about 10 or 15 more seconds, just opening the eyes as wide as possible, symmetrical on each side and releasing. Opening the eyes wide, symmetrical on each side and releasing. This may feel a little funny, just keep going. And when you're ready, you can go ahead and release. Now we're gonna work on our non-dominant eye. So I'm covering my right eye, which is my dominant eye with my right hand. I'm gonna be working with my left eye, my non-dominant eye. We're gonna start out with eyebrow pinches. So pinching along the eyebrow three times of the non-dominant eye. Just gently pinching around the skin and muscle of the eyebrow here, and let's do that three times. Next, going to lift our eyebrow with our hand and we're going to look down with our non-dominant eye and then open our eye wide. So look down towards the floor or towards your chin and then open the eye wide. Looking down, opening the eye wide. Make sure you keep your non-dominant eyebrow lifted with your hands and we're just looking down, stretching the eye, opening the eye wide. This is really going to help widen and lift this non-dominant eye and make it more symmetrical with the dominant eye. So looking down and opening the eye wide. Your eye might start to feel a little tired or a little dry. You can release and blink if you need to, or you can keep going. Looking down and opening the eye wide. 
We're doing 30 total. So let's do a few more of these together, looking down, opening the eye wide. And when you've gotten to 30 reps, you can go ahead and release. Now, we are going to, again, cover up our dominant eye. So I'm covering my right eye and I'm taking the left hand and holding my eyebrow down. Now, this is what it looks like if you move your fingers out of the way. I'm using my the tips of my fingers to hold the eyebrow down and I'm trying to raise my left eyebrow against the resistance of my hand. So you won't see much as you view the exercise, but underneath you can feel you're really trying to move that left eyebrow up against the resistance of the hands holding it down. So really focus on that non-dominant eyebrow lifting up as the fingers hold your forehead in place. When you're ready, you can go ahead and release. Next, we're going to cover the dominant eye again and make a mini C on the dom non-dominant eye here. Now you wanna make sure you're not creating any wrinkles on the forehead, so look in the mirror and make sure. Now we're just going to squint 30 times with the non-dominant eye as we hold this mini C in position. So we're holding the eyelid here and we're offering resistance coming from the fingertips so that our eyelid in the squinting motion is resisting against the fingertips. Now again, make sure there's not any wrinkles being created in the forehead and or around the eyes. We're doing 30 reps of this, just squeezing that non-dominant eye 30 times. You don't have to fully close the eye, you just want to squint. When you're ready, go ahead and release. We're gonna do this mini C exercise two more times. So covering the dominant eye, placing the mini C in position and squinting the eyes shut. Again, go at your own pace here. So if you are feeling good, you wanna do it quickly, you can make quick squinting motions, not closing the eye all the way, or you can go a little slower. But we're gonna do 30 reps again in during this set. So make sure you're not creating any wrinkles on the forehead or around the eyes, and really make sure that your eyelid is being activated. This is going to really lift and widen this non-dominant eye. When you're ready, you can go ahead and release, and we'll do this one last time, placing the hand over the dominant eye and making a mini C on the non-dominant eye and doing 30 pulses, making sure to hold the skin and muscle of the eyelid in place so that we're really working that round eye muscle that encapsulates the whole eye. So we're really working our eyelid here, bringing fresh blood and oxygen, lifting, plumping, and widening this non-dominant eye. And make sure you're not tensing anywhere else on the face here. When you've gotten to 30, you can go ahead and release. And that's it for today's eye symmetry workout. You could go ahead and look in the mirror, notice the difference. If you like these videos, please like and subscribe to the channel. Namaste, and I'll see you in the next workout.